Hi Capricorn, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is your weekly tarot scope. I'm in a different room. I'm actually in my dining room today because I wanted to enjoy the sunshine while I was recording. And if I do that in my tarot room, it shines in through the door weirdly. So I'm in my dining room today doing this. <laughs> Plus it's quite nice. I get to see the horizon. I get to see the trees. Anyway, let's see what we have for you Capricorn. We have the Ace of Swords. There's an element of knowledge being told, truths being told, epiphanies, uh, communication. Um, but it's very much the truth, the raw truth coming through is what I'm getting. Cutting through um, BS and cutting through um, lies and getting to the very root of the, um, of the matter, basically. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Echoes. I'm getting echoes. There's echoes of things coming back, secondhand reverberations, secondhand knowledge, secondhand stories, people think echoes don't sound exactly the same as what comes through straight from the horse's mouth. It's being bounced back and there's distortions and things lost. So I kind of feel like you need to get to the source, the root of the matter, hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Um, you need to go directly to source to get the correct info because here in second hand and arms and legs added on is kind of where issues are coming up. Yeah. Once you get to that, once you get to the truth, then there can be movement forward. There can be progress. But right now there are arms and legs being added onto it. There are things being thrown out in all distortions. And until you come back to the center it um, and make sure that everything is kind of where it's supposed to be. And, and it's all aligned and everybody's on the same path, then you can make progress forward. I don't know if this is to do with a relationship. Once you get to the truth and all the information's in and you've gathered everything together and you know where you are and everything's back in balance, then you can progress forward. And trust me, it's fast motion with, with the chariot. But that element of truth, the chariot is also um, movement, literal movement away. So it may be that an offer comes in this week, which allows you to move or emigrate somewhere um or an element to do with a house move that there's some sort of honesty coming from a house move or a relocation um possibly news of a holiday maybe you'll get news that you can actually finally go on holiday but um yeah something of clarity means that movement forward can happen um in a situation whether that is literal physical movement forward or whether that is uh, metaphorical energetic movement forward okay let's see what we've got for you what else is coming through Cool. time to take the leap time to take the it, it could well be that this opportunity is brought in for you you have this communication it comes in for you sorry there's a load of cards just been checked across the table um and none of them there's too many to deal with so um it may be that this comes in and basically it's a new opportunity and you can take the leap maybe it is a big leap into emigrating to another country or taking a leap into the uh, traveling abroad if that's a thing because the world's starting to open up and that can be quite daunting and scary but if you feel that it's right for you then by all means go and take that trip go and do that journey um and don't get me wrong there's an element of fear here with the rabbit and the wolf like there is it is scary but um the fall tends to mean that you know things should work out as long as you've done the work and you've researched and you've put the effort in and all the procedures in place in order to make it safe um you know it's going to be okay you trust your gut that it's going to be okay because you you are trusting your own judgment on this um only you can make that decision to take that leap whether that is to move abroad or it is to take a holiday or it is to start a new job or whatever this is that's coming in it brings an element of, of clarity this week um and progress and the opportunity for a whole new cycle to start because the fall is like the beginning of a new cycle as well um so you have the world where everything all the lessons have been learned and we've took all the information and now we're taking everything that we've learned taking the only the essentials and we're taking the leap forward on a new journey with the fall there's an element of anxiety attached to it i'm not in any way diminishing that anxiety i think you need to be aware that there may be it may be anxiety inducing but if you've got the full and the chariot you've got major arcana and an ace um it's a pretty big it's a pretty big decision to make it's a pretty big um thing to start chasing down it's a big change it's a big new cycle because it's major arcana it's not just like oh i think i'll try a different shop this week it's Oh, I'm changing my job. Oh, I'm changing career. Oh, I'm moving to another country. Oh, I'm taking a big holiday in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, I'm. It, it has big repercussions. That's why there's anxiety attached to it because it's quite. It's a big decision. There's a big element of trusting your own gut. Oh my God, that feels like nerves in your tummy. Tummy nerves. Anyway, let's see what we got. 
Queen of Wands, confident, move forward with confidence, and you've also got the Queen of Swords. Trust your instincts, trust your gut. Um, you're more capable than you realise about dealing with it. Um, you are trusting your instincts, that's okay, and you've made it as part of an informed decision. You know, you've got all the info in, you've got gathered it all. Seeing the bigger picture, you are wise, wiser than you um, are allowed to believe, I think. But yeah, have confidence in your decision making, have confidence in your ability to know what is right for you and what isn't right for you, because it's nobody else's business, to be honest. Um, and it kind of feels like something in summer. I'm getting summer. Summertime, August time. Maybe you're planning to have a, 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 a um, holiday in August time. Um, and you're making the decision now whether you should book it or not. Only you can make that decision, but trust your gut on it. If you if you feel like it's the right thing to do, then go for it. If you feel like it's not the right thing to do, equally making a decision the other way, not doing something, can also be anxiety inducing. Um, so yeah, just trust your judgment. Um, you are more capable. You do not need another person to help you make this decision. I don't know why you keep, I don't know if someone's trying to kind of argue and manipulate you into making a decision a certain way it's not up to them it's your life um and communicate that quite clearly to them that it's my life and i will do what i like to do whether that's i want to go on holiday i want to get a vaccine i want to um, move to another country i want to start a new career whatever it is don't be browbeaten do what you feel is right by your judgment and your instincts because the only person you have to answer to is yourself um i hope that is of some use to you hopefully um I'll see you again next week, but thank you so much for watching. Bye.